G'day and welcome to Queensland Farmer. Well, we're at uh, version two of the leaky weir here down on the farm. It's a pretty steamy old day today. We've uh, got the chance of some storms and certainly looking forward to some more rain. But uh, boy, that humidity is up here in the subtropics. So you can see that the type of timber that we've got here is certainly a lot bigger than what we've used previously. We've got some old trees up here that have been laying down here for years. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to cut through them, but uh, we'll get through it and we'll use some uh, steel uprights, which are uh, steel pickets, you might know them, or tomato stakes, we've got a few different names. And uh, we'll use those given it is going to be a lot larger than the last one. And um, I expect it should hold back a lot more water. I was previously uh, indicating that I might use some bamboo, but I just don't think that bamboo is gonna hold. Well, this is just the beginning, but uh, it's certainly coming into shape. I've put these uh, three steel pickets in, and uh, look at that, I almost got those level. And the timber is sort of resting up against those. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to tie them to the steel pickets or what I'm gonna do, but I guess that will evolve as I go through this. You get down low here, you can see there's a bit of a gap underneath there, so smaller timber and palm fronds and whatever else I can gather. I'll stick up underneath there. I may also go and get some rock. But again, this is an evolving project, so we'll see how it goes. That timber is certainly a lot bigger than the previous stuff. I might even just leave that other weir there. What's the harm that it can do is what I'm thinking. Okay, we'll keep continuing.
So this leaky weir is certainly coming together. Just uh, looking over to the right of this weir, you can see the significant difference from the first version. The second version is looking very solid. This is pretty heavy timber and uh, as I mentioned earlier, <laughs> it's a pretty warm day. So uh, just uh, time to take it easy. It's not the easiest to get machinery into here either. I had considered using the tractor to get this in here, but it's just simply a bit hard to get it down on these slopes without doing any more damage. But that looks like a big wall of timber, so I'm really happy with the outcome. It's like Tetris for grown-ups. Okay, well, what a difference. Certainly a big change from the original that I did, and uh, I'm really happy with the results. It's quite large timber, and it was really hard to, to uh, manhandle, but anyway, we got it there. On this side, I've actually gone and got some wood chip that I've had up in the yards for about 18 months. So it's uh, no doubt quite a rich biomass to be putting at the front of this. I'm sure that it will stop the water coming in uh, and going through that timber pretty quickly. So it'll certainly slow it down. And I'm also uh, hoping that it'll, over time, it'll actually pack in there very nicely. And if I need to add some more, well, that won't be a drama. I've got plenty of that wood chip. Well, thank you for watching. If you like this sort of content, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now.